Hey guys, this is Upesh from Bio.com and I'll be honest with you, I've been using MIUI for a long, long time. In fact, I first used MIUI on my Galaxy Ace back when MIUI was a very popular custom ROM. I mean, back then MIUI was super popular among Android fans because it brought some really cool features in a really nice looking UI, something you couldn't say about stock Android. In fact, MIUI had features that even other skins lacked, so yes, it was awesome. So over the years, MIUI has kind of grown and when Xiaomi arrived in India, people were obviously excited for the Xiaomi hardware. But one of the reasons why everyone wanted to buy these new Mi phones is MIUI. MIUI was kind of the big selling point. But cut to today, that's not really the case. See, MIUI of today has kind of become the drawback on Xiaomi phones. It is infamous in India for two things, the ads and the bloatware, which Xiaomi has introduced in the platform over the years and that has kind of ruined the MIUI experience. I mean, in the past, I used to recommend Xiaomi budget phones to basically everybody without any hesitation. But today, say my mom wants to buy a new budget smartphone, I'm hesitant to recommend her a new Xiaomi budget smartphone because I don't want her to go through all the ads in the UI, get spammy notifications, because right now, this is the truth of MIUI. I'm sure you can relate to this. Comment down below if you've experienced this in MIUI. Anyway, so let's remove all the ads, all the bloatware from a Xiaomi phone. And if you have a Xiaomi phone, well, you should watch this video very closely. So take the Redmi Note 9 here, for example. There are two types of bloatware on this phone. Type 1, the apps you can actually uninstall like these ones. As you can see, these you can just uninstall without any issues. Type 2 is the type of bloatware you can't uninstall. In fact, you can't even disable them. I'm talking about apps like the MIUI App Store called Get Apps, the Cleaner App, the Mi Music app, Mi Mover, Share Me, etc. Now, there is a way to remove these apps. So all you need is a laptop or PC with ADB setup. Don't worry, it's fairly easy and we have a very good guide on ADB that you can follow in the description. So check that out from the link below. You also need to enable USB debugging on your phone in developer options. Now, the last thing you need is the Xiaomi debloater tool that you can just download from the link below. Now, once you have these tools ready, it's pretty easy. I can just connect the Note 9 here to my laptop via ADB. And as you can see, it's connected. After that, I can just run the Xiaomi debloater tool. And as you can see, it lists down all of the apps in the phone. As you can see, there's every single app. All the Mi apps like Mi Browser, Mi Drop, Mi Cloud, Mi Mover, Mi Credit, Mi Music, Mi Video, and other stock Mi UI apps like Cleaner, Scanner, Get Apps, etc. Now, what I can do is I can just select the apps here that I don't want. Yep, I'm getting rid of all of these apps from the Note 9. And once I've selected these apps I want to remove, I can just hit the uninstall button right here. And as you can see on the left side, all of the selected apps are being removed and that's it, done. Now let's check the Note 9. Yup, as you can see, all of the bloatware on the Redmi Note 9 is gone and it's very clean, nice. And you know what, this can be very important on low-end phones which have 16 or 32 GB storage because after I deleted these apps, I cleared almost 1 GB of storage. In fact, I also did the same process on the Redmi 8 and here's a before and after screenshot of the storage. So I basically freed more than 1 GB of storage if you take a look at the storage taken by apps. So that's pretty awesome. So honestly, you should do this on your MIUI phone. And if you want a detailed guide, I'll leave a link below. So check that out. Moving on, I also got rid of the ads. Now, you don't have a single switch or a button to just disable all the ads in the UI in the apps. See, I know Xiaomi promised a single switch to disable system apps that we even saw in early MIUI 12 betas. But the MIUI 12 update that arrived on the Redmi Note 9 recently just does not have any such option as you can see. Maybe we'll get it in a future update, but it's not here right now. Anyway, so the point is you'll have to disable ads app by app. First up, you can disable most of the system ads by deleting the app MSA, which is basically the MIUI ad service app via the debloater tool I showed you. Or you can go to settings, password and security and disable MSA from here. However, this will not disable all the ads in MIUI, so what you need to do is whenever you find an ad in an app or a page, just go to the settings of the respective app and turn off recommendations. You'll find this option everywhere. Now there's another ad that I really hate, this one. So I can just go to the settings and turn off recommendations. And you know what, I hate this page itself, so I'm gonna turn it off by disabling the scan apps feature. So that was the ads and the bloatware, but there's also the very annoying push notifications, so obviously I disabled that too. So basically there are two ways to disable annoying push notifications. You can either press hold on notification when you get one and block them, or you can go to settings, notifications, and disable notifications from the apps you don't want like this. It's pretty easy. 
So now that everything is done, this here is a Xiaomi phone with no ads, no bloatware, and it's the clean me UI we all want. See, a lot of people always say that they want a stock Android phone in the budget segment, when actually they want this, a feature packed experience that's also clean and lightweight, like me UI without all of the cringe. So ultimately, the point of this video is that Xiaomi should be making an effort to, you know, fix all these issues. I mean, I get it. Xiaomi cannot totally remove all the ads, all the bloatware, especially on low end or budget smartphones because they are obviously making money out of it. And I understand that because they launched their phones at very competitive prices. But the least Xiaomi can do is simplify things. So you know what, Xiaomi can work on bringing a simpler way to get rid of all the bloatware, the ads, a way that anyone, everyone can actually use to get a cleaner MIUI experience. Now, if you're a MIUI user or if you have other people in your family who are Xiaomi users, just go ahead, use these methods and clean up your phone and clean up the phones of your family members. Go ahead, do it. And if you want a very detailed step-by-step -step guide, we have a link in the description. So go ahead, check that out as well. Anyway, what do you think of this? What is your experience with MIUI? Tell us in the comment section below. Also, make sure to share this video with at least one MIUI user. I'm sure they're gonna thank you. So make sure to share this video. Also, give this video a like if you found it useful. And yeah, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. But that's me signing off. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.